today we will be making us a tomato basil soup and we're going to do mushroom, bacon, and mozzarella uh, sliders for the soup. First things first, we got some tomatoes because those are important if you're going to make tomato soup. Got to have tomatoes. I don't even eat tomatoes, <laughs> but for this soup though, I'm gonna eat them because it looks good. Uh, shout out to my boy Chef Vino who actually inspired me to do this because he did it and it looked so awesome that I decided that I'm gonna go ahead and do it too. Mushrooms on and stuff like that. Thank We've you. already had our pan right. preheated with a little olive oil in there. What you want to do is take your mushrooms, just kind of just get them in there. That sizzle that you hear, don't be scared of it because just the water is going to be coming up out these mushrooms. Mm -hmm. And you want to toss you some of these onions in there too. What we're trying to do. Just get all this water out of them, but you don't want to boil them, so you got to keep them moving. Get your little seasonings in there. Got your garlic, your pepper, your blanket season, and my chipotle smoky paprika. So keep these things moving. Oh, these are, uh, these are sliced, uh, Baby portobellas or something like that. I told y'all I don't eat mushrooms, so this is all new to me. I got them from Walmart though. Mm -hmm. They came in a little plastic thing. But baby made me make them fancy schmancy and put them in a ceramic bowl. Nope, it's not ceramic. Uh, somebody help me out. What's it called? Come on. Or like my sister in law, some tall said, it's the big bowl. You know what I mean? <laughs> What we're trying to do is just get the color in these to change to a, a browner color. And you also want to add you some butter to this thing. Put some butter in about a mm -hmm. tablespoon, teaspoon of butter somewhere around there. I told y'all I was raised in a black family. And the black mama and grandma and great grandmama, so they taught me to eyeball at work. So that's what I've been doing. So I'm sorry I can't give you all exact measurements, but to make everything better, I do have a gun on me. Yeah. Oh, look. Sea salt. Salt dude. Sea salt dude. Look, if you look at the color, you see it's starting to, starting to turn and start to brown a little bit and stuff. That's what we're looking for. I wish y'all could smell this. It's 2018 and we ain't got a smell of vision uh, phone yet. Man, that's what we need in our lives.
sliders are done. We got our toast bread. It's really simple to put together. All you can do is put your mushrooms. Put some mushrooms get on there. You're gonna get your cheese. And your bacon. Where's my beautiful assistant? I'm there, here, honey. There he is. <laughs> I'm gonna put you one piece of bacon on there. I'm only gonna do one with bacon, one without bacon. He just did one with bacon and one without bacon. And this Watch is for one. the ones that's vegan and for the ones that's carnivores. Thank you to my lovely assistant. You're welcome. Put little basil on there. And you are good to go. Mm -hmm. All right, so this is the finished product. Alright, this finished product. Y'all enjoy. One with bacon for America. One for you terrorists that don't eat bacon. The onion, the mushroom, the sweetness of the potato bread. Little cheese sprinkle in. That's not all right. That's real good. That's what that is. He is. You know, Chef Vino, he is probably better than yours. Hey, don't. <laughs> hey, I ain't saying it. You know what I mean? But <laughs> what you want to do is get you some uh, some chicken broth. Chicken broth. Get the corn in. Pour it in. All of it. All of it. And don't stop. Don't stop. Some of them, got skin on some of them, doesn't really matter. It's totally up to you which way you want to do this. looking like so far now you blend it to how you like it if you like it chunky then hey you can keep it with a little bit of chunks uh senora porsche don't like it chunky so we finna blend this thing just a tad bit longer. fine arrows okay now that you got it all done just want to take it pour it in your your chicken broth be careful not to spill it everywhere I'll pour my tomato mixture in. Now we're just gonna mix it all up. Bring it to a simmer. Put the top on that thing. And let it do it, let it do work. Pinch of this sea salt. Like the salt did. Stir the thing. Gonna put this top on there and let it go. Soup all done and nice and warm and stuff like that. But next thing you do, I want to add you some heavy whipping cream to that thing. How much? Uh, eyeball at work. Uh, do I have an assistant in here? What do you need? I just want them to tell me how much I added in here. By my eyeballing it, I say about a. About as much as you wanted to add. That, that sounded right. About a cup and a half, as much as you want to add, whichever one you heard. That's, that's <laughs> what you want to do. It's all done. After you add that heavy cream, it's a different color. What you're looking for is like a brownish, orangish color. Get something in the bowl so y'all can really see what it's supposed to be looking like with all those flavors and we got 
pop the thing on. A little bit of cheese and call me cheese, cheese bay. And if you want to make it really, really nice, take some of that bacon. Crumble a little bit up. Woo! Woo! That's how y'all know I'm American. Bacon's like garlic. Can't never have too much of it. And this for me, though. Mm-hmm. Voila. There it is. Tomato basil soup. With mozzarella and bacon. And we had mozzarella bacon mushroom slider.